God bless you. God bless you. I'm just getting set up. Hold on. Praise God. I know y'all probably like, where's she at? Where's she at? <laughs> Praise God. God bless you guys. Let me go ahead and share it to the group. And you guys, come on, join on in. Amen. God bless you. Come on, join on in. If you're already here and waiting, God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. And we are here. Amen. And we are ready to minister the word just to give you a word of encouragement. Come on and tune on in, guys. God bless you. I pray that you're enjoying your Sunday, that all is well. Amen. Glory to God. We give him praise. This is the day the Lord has made. We're rejoicing, right? We're glad in it. We are celebrating life, amen, to the full and overflow because God is good. Yes, he is. Come on, guys. Join on in and help me uh, tag some other folks in. I pray you're enjoying your day. And um, we're going to get started here shortly. God bless you, Jan, Marla, Pamela Townsend, um, whatever names. I can't see the other names that they've already passed me, but God bless you guys. Come on, tune on in. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Karen. She said, hi, mom. Hi, Karen. <laughs> yes, you guys recognize mom's with me again, right? Amen. Praise God. Come on and join in. We're not going to be before you long, but we're going to um, just give a few seconds for um, people to tune on in. Amen. Come on and join us. God bless you. Amen. God is good, y'all. Amen. He yes, is so he wonderful. Is. He's so faithful. Yes. He is so awesome. Amen. In all yes. of his deeds and all that yes. he does, he is so wonderful. Amen. So come on and join me. Glory to God. I tell you, I might have to come out this jacket, y'all. <laughs> Praise God. We ain't even got started, but I'm telling you, God has. Amen. Right. And then he's, he's began a good work and it's yes. going to be complete. Yes, Amen. Amen. Come on, join mm -hmm. on in with me. Come on and go ahead and share. And uh, start your watch parties and um, be sure to share the video in its conclusion. Amen. And so we're going to go ahead and um, just uh, get ready to uh, start. We're just going to wait a few more minutes for people to tune on in. I tell you, I'm here. Glory to God. We were, um, I um, had a call to come in, uh, a prayer request. And so um been interrupted so if there was ever a reason to be late that's a yes, good reason praise it is. god <laughs> it is. it's a good reason amen yes. and so i uh, was interceding and praying uh for the youth praying for this generation praying for the nations mm -hmm. uh the seed amen because we can just see through a society we can see through um so many things that are happening right now where we can see the enemy is coming aggressively yes. against yes. uh the seed he's coming against these young mm -hmm. people he's coming against the young adults and we see um he is just unleashed you know all mm -hmm. uh darkness evilness wickedness um, and we see such a, a spirit of destruction that's trying to mm -hmm. uh, drive them to a place yes you know uh, where they're separated from God, where they are uh, just, I mean, he's, he's trying to kill them off. You know, it, it just makes me think of the times of Moses, uh, when Yochavet, his mother had to hide him because, uh, the, the King was after them, was killing off, um, all of the young men. And, and, and we see today, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the false, the, the, the Prince, you know, the, 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 the little G, the God of the dark world. He's yes. trying to kill off, mm -hmm. you know, the young men, he's trying to kill off the seed. He's trying to destroy the youth. And we see this happening. And we know that he said in the last days that perilous times will come. And yes. we see that nothing yes. is new under the sun, as the Bible says. Right. And the adversary, you know, was coming after the, 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 the young, you know, babies, the boys. And so Yochaved, Moses' mother, had to hide him. She, she hid him till he could be hidden no longer. And then she had to just release him. Right. And, and, and she put him in this basket and mm -hmm. let him sell up the Nile. And, um, he ended up right there, um, in the home of Pharaoh, the very one who wanted to <laughs> yes. kill him. And I, and I'm yes. here to tell you, let these mothers, let be encouraged today. I know yes. uh, many of you, you said, God, I, I've covered my child. I've covered my son. I have done all I can do now. It's out of my hands. Now I, I can't do anything else. You know, I don't know what else to do. Well, I tell you what you do, do like Yoko release them to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Trust mm -hmm. God and say, God, 
God, into your hands. I'm releasing yes. my son. I'm releasing my daughter. I'm giving over uh, my children to you, Lord. And I thank you. You're going to protect them. You're going yes. to watch them. And you're going to sail them right on into their destiny. Because yes. that's exactly Amen. what God did for Moses as he landed into the house of Pharaoh. God yes. used that which was against him to help him to come back later to what? To face the very adversary that God used him yes. to help him. And so only God can do a thing that's like that. Right. And so I want you to be encouraged yeah. because I know, uh, you know, sometimes we look at our children, we look at, you know, mm -hmm. our, our, our seed and, and, and a lot of times the decisions that they make, the things that they're choosing, the things that they're doing, the life that they're living is yeah. not that which they were exposed to. They were not mm -hmm. raised in that way. They were not taught in those ways. Yeah. Uh, their decisions don't reflect their upbringing. But let me tell you, God said the seed of the righteous shall always be delivered. Yeah. He said nothing will pluck them out of his hand. Amen. He said that he watches over over him. He, he, they don't, yes. he don't ever sleep or slumber. Amen. Yes. God can be with them in places you can't. God yes. know what they're doing even when you don't. And he yes. is a present help in the times of trouble. So I'm telling you, put your child Put your son, and I don't care how old they are, put them in the basket, put them in the word, put them in the care yes. of the Lord and release them unto him. And I promise you, yes. you will see the word fulfilled. We already said that the word is working, right? Yes. We said that, mom, yes, right? The is. word is working. Yes. It's working for me. It's working for you. It's working for us. And so that's what you got to believe. It's working for your children. Amen. It's working for your offspring because look at what God did. Amen. Because see yeah. what the enemy meant for our bad. God always working for our good. And see, he thought he was going to kill uh, Moses off. He thought he was going to destroy him. But see what he was doing was actually working along God to build him. And here it was. You raised up your own champion. The one who will what? Yes. The one will conquer you. Yes. The one that would defeat you. <laughs> raise them up in your yes. own home. And that's what I'm here yes. to tell you. The devil thought he was going to take you out. He thought he was going to yes. kill you on the operation table. He thought he was going to kill you in that car accident. But let yes. me tell you, honey, you have greatness ahead and God's Amen. got a plan for your life. And Amen. what God has done cannot be outdone by that's what right. Satan is trying to do. Come that's on, I'm right. talking to somebody that's already. Right. And we ain't even got started. But I'm telling you, God is faithful. Yes. Give it over to the Lord. Give yes. it over to the Father. Amen? Amen. Because he knows. Amen. So be encouraged today because we see so much happening. We see so yes. much taking place. And so that's what this individual had called me in regards to a situation that occurred. And we went into, we look, we got on the wall. We began to declare and speak yes. the word of God. And so therefore, that's why I'm late getting to you today. But let me tell you, hey, I come. Hallelujah, with the message of the Lord. I come yeah. with the fire of God, yeah. amen, as his instrument in this end time uh, that, that I'm speaking the word of the Lord to tell you, listen, be of good cheer yes. because God is faithful and faithful is he that promised. Yes. And he said that He his word, he said the sun will not set before you see his word come to pass. So I don't know uh, what you are uh, entertaining, but let me tell you, consider not. Believe the word of God. Amen. And stand Amen. strong in your faith and bring glory Amen. to God because yes. he watches over his word to perform yes. it. So we call that son forth. We call yes. that daughter forth. We yes. cast them in the into the care of, of the Lord and yes. we release them and we Amen. declare the name of Jesus. They are loosed. Yes. And the wicked one touches them not. Yes. We declare in the name of Jesus that they are born again. They are set free, delivered, sanctified. They yes. are redeemed of the Lord. We say yes. so now. So yes. in the name of Jesus, we speak that and you be at peace. Yes. Trust in the word of the Lord. Yes. Trust in the love of your father to know that he said he perfect everything that concerns you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. So listen, we're going to go ahead and you probably say, you look, you already got started, but we're going to go ahead and pray. <laughs> and we're going to get into today's message. Amen. Because we're going to talk about getting the right script. Amen. Something that God began to speak to me. And you know, a lot of times God began to uh, prophetically give me things or revelatorily give me things, you know, through experiences, just day to day experiences. And so I want to share that with you on today. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and go into prayer and then we're going to go ahead and go into the messages. So mom, would you go ahead and open us up in prayer as we begin sure. to start uh, this uh, live today? Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank come you, thanking Jesus. you for this day. 
Lord, we come praising you, Lord. We come rejoicing, yes. Lord God, because you are our yes, King. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We come in victory, yes, Lord God. Yes, thank oh, you. because you have won the victory for us, yes, Lord, Lord God. Lord, thank we you, come, Jesus. Lord God, opening up our hearts and minds to hear from yes, you, Lord, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we thank you. That as the word go forth, we will hear it and we will hear it with understanding, yes, Lord God. Yes, thank in you, the Jesus. name of Jesus, Lord God, we will not just stop at hearing it, yes, but Lord. we will apply it, Lord yes, God. God. In thank the you, name Jesus. of Jesus, thank we you, will Jesus. apply it. Trusting thank you, Lord Jesus. God, thank you, because you said your word would not return to you void, useless, empty, or without effect. Yes. So as this word comes, Lord God, we're expecting it to do what just what you said it would yes, do. Because Lord. we know that both heaven and earth would pass away yes. before your word would be alive. Yes. So we come in confidence. Glory we God. come in expectation. Hallelujah. We come in faith, yes. Lord God. Glory and God. we Come in thanksgiving, Lord yes. God. So thank you for the word, Lord God, that you, you are Lord. about to speak through, Tracy. Thank you, We Jesus. thank you for the word right now because thank we you, know, Lord God, oh, hallelujah, that your word is a lamp unto our feet yes. and a light unto our feet. Yes, it is. So, Lord, we need light, Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord, thank so you, Jesus. So we just yes. thank you for it right now. We bless the ears of all the listeners, yes, Lord God. Lord, we declare you, and decree that every one of us yes. will be blessed yes. by this word, yes. Lord God. So now, Lord, nothing to, you, more Jesus. to do, but we are expecting yes. and we say thank you. Yes. We receive in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. So let's let's begin to get into this because I wanted to uh, just be obedient what the Lord uh, would have me to share to you uh, today. And so um, here uh, we're talking about getting the right script. And, and a lot of times, even it ties into what we were just talking about with your, uh, with even with your children, you know, it's not just having the right script for our eyes, but having the right script uh, for, for our children as well. And so yes. here, um, the word of the Lord, and I want to start, if there was a scripture that we would stand on, uh, that would be the foundation of this teaching, it would be in Proverbs 29, 18. And it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. Yes. Where there is no vision, the people perish. And I want to read this uh, scripture in uh, a couple of other different uh, versions of the Bible so that it really maximizes or volumizes uh, what's being said here. And so here, I want to read it in the AMPC, um, the classified of the Amplified Bible. I want to read it here first, and then I'll go into two other translations, which is the message and the passion. But in the AMPC, it says, where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God, the people perish. But he who keeps the law of God, which includes that of man, blessed, happy, fortunate, and enviable is he. It says where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God. And I'm here to tell you, uh, we are in a time where we're seeing people just act out of impulse. They're yes. acting out of flesh. Yes. Uh, no thought, uh, no, no, no kind of investment uh, in prayer or seeking the Lord. And that's very dangerous. Yes. It's very dangerous because uh, God said, do not lean to your own understanding. Mm -hmm. He said to acknowledge him in all of your ways and he will direct your path. God also says, be not wise in thy own eyes. Yes. And so we got to make sure that we are not uh, just uh, uh, doing things and, and, and just, you know, uh, making decisions that are independent from the direction or the guidance of God. We need the benevolent guidance of God. And so this is why our lives um, and only the, uh, it will be the only way our lives could be providen providentially, you know, guided or led if we are what? Being led by yes. the spirit of God. Yes. We've got to ask. We've yes. got to seek. Amen. We've yes. got to knock. We've got to, you know, we got to beseech the Lord and begin to seek wisdom and knowledge from him and not think that, you know, oh, I can do this, you know, and, 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 and just take it upon ourselves to make decisions uh, that we are incapable of making. And so uh, we've got to get revelation and, and you got to get the revelation God is giving. Amen. Because we're yes. in a time now where people are, men are giving yes. you their words. And yes. listen, he said, God said his words is a lamp to your feet yes. and a light in your, to your path Amen. because there's a way that seems right to man but yes. in the end lies death it lies yes. destruction so yes. you don't want to be walking uh you know and living your life based on a man's opinion yes 
Okay, you don't want to be uh, living your life and being guided based on a uh, man's theology. You yeah. want the revelation of God because see, when you got a revelation of God, you can have a revolution of God. Yeah. Amen. And you can you can begin to see your life begin to transform and begin to reform and begin to change and, and align itself to the things of which God said it's supposed to be. And so we got to get a revelation of the Lord. And so he said with no redemptive revelation, the people perish. Yeah. And so this is why we're seeing people perishing. This is why we're seeing nations perish. Yeah. This is why we're seeing households and families perish yeah. because there is no vision. Yes. One of my favorite quotes in life, it came from Helen Keller. If you've ever heard me speak, I'm sure you've heard me quote this before, uh, where she said the only thing uh, worse to being blind is to have sight, but no vision. Right. And so we've got to have vision. Amen. And that, that vision got to come from God, because let me tell you, the enemy has a vision. He has a plan for you. And that yes. his plan is what for everybody is to come to what? Steal, kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. Yes. But God's plan says, I come that you would what? Have life and have it more abundantly according yeah. to John 10 and 10. And so without that revelation, we need to make sure we're getting the revelation of God. And see, listen, get the revelation God has for you too. Because some of us, we seek revelation. We know we need it, but we go take, a, a, you know, take words or takes instructions that God gave to somebody else. Yes. So listen, don't yes. go try to have your revolution on another man's revelation. Amen. All right, you got to get what God's got for you. You got to do it how God is telling you to do it. You yes. got to do it according to his plan for your yes. life and not try to do it yourself and say, okay, I'm a, I am got it, God, but I'll do it this way. You know, it, it's interesting that when God told the widow um, in 2 Kings 4, who had just a little vow of oil, um, the prophet uh, began to speak the word, began to give her a revelation so she could get a revolution. He began to give her instructions. He told her, go out and borrow as many vessels. Yes. And he said, bring them in and come into your house and yes. shut the door. Yes. Come into your house and shut yes. the door. See, see, we got to be, you know, realize how important it is for us to do it the way God is telling us, because many a times we'll get the word of the Lord. We'll get what God is telling us to do but mom we go out and we try to say yes. okay i'm gonna do it over here yeah i'm gonna take it to this church and yes. i'm gonna start it here i'm gonna take it over here to this state and yes. i'm gonna start it here but god told her he said bring it into your house and yes. shut the door and so that means that god was giving her instructions of how to do it there and not to do it out there or over there Amen. so i'm telling you you gotta listen to god yes, yes because yes. some of us you know, it's not working because we have not worked it the way God told us. We didn't yes. do it the way God told us to do it. And so we got to go back and get that thing right because we cannot, if, if, if the moment we alter anything, it's no longer his plan, but yours. And he said he watched over his word to perform it. Amen. And so we got to get that re redemptive revelation of God and do what God is saying. But here in the message version, look at what it says here. If people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. Yes. If people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. Yes. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. Yes. That's so good, y'all. Yes. If people can't see what God is doing, this is where I'm telling you, this is setting us up for what we're going to talk about today, about getting the right script. It said if people can't see what God is doing, then they stumble all over themselves. And I'm telling you, we are in a time, my God, satanic blindfolds, yes. a spiritual blindness. Yes. You know, uh, th this, this is a time where we're seeing um, how the adversary is trying to flood uh, the eye gates and keep uh, yes. everything but, you know, uh, uh, you know, the word, keep you from seeing everything but the things of God. I mean, yes. you can't even look on the television. You can't even listen to the radio. You can't even go out most of the times in the communities without seeing such darkness and yes. Perversion yes. and things uh, are manifesting or happening um, in your view. And so the enemy is trying to flood. He's trying to, you know, trying to dominate uh, what you see. And so this is why we've got to be sure that we can see what God is showing. Amen. And that we're not limited in our vision. And so he says, but when we do that, we're going to be most blessed by what, by being able to perceive what God is revealing. Amen. Yes. And so we yes. got to see what God is showing. Amen. Amen. And so the last version of the scripture in, in the passion, it says, where there is no clear prophetic vision, <laughs> people quickly wander astray. Yes. 
But when you follow the revelation of the word, heaven's bliss fills your soul. That's good, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Man, look at this. Where there is no clear prophetic vision. And I'm telling you, we are in a time where we're seeing uh, the spirit of divination and familiar spirits. We're seeing uh, the spirit of error. We're seeing the spirit of the Antichrist. We're seeing uh, these things trying to operate, this false uh, prophets and false teachings. As the Bible talk about in the last days, people will be seduced by demonic doctrines. We're yeah. seeing these things yes, manifest. We're seeing them happening. But let me tell you, he said, listen, them, he said, test the spirit by the spirit yeah. to know whether the spirit is of God. And yeah. this is why we've got to have discernment. We've yes. got to be able to see. Yeah. We've got to understand what God is showing us so we can discern that ain't God. Right. That ain't God. Right. Because listen, God is never going to do anything that is contrary or contradictory to his, his word. word. That's right. He will not violate his word. That's right. And so this is why we've got to be very cautious, amen, in these times and making sure uh, that we are not leaning to our own understanding that we're not That's being right. seduced, amen, right. because there are seducing spirits. Yes. There are a lot of things that are taking place, amen, yes. amen. And so we've got to make sure that we're able to hear and we're able to see. And so he said where there is no clear prophetic vision so clear why would he put the word why would he put the adjective clear because see listen it's not just a matter that you see it's how you're seeing yes it's how you're seeing yes. and, and and so we've got to make sure that we're seeing things very clear we've got to make sure that there is nothing obstructed see if, if i had a bunch of fingerprints or smudges on these glasses i'm looking through the lens but i can't really see clearly because what's happening is there's a distortion there's yes. something uh, that is that is prohibiting me from seeing things in the clarity in which i need to see them yes and so that means uh, that, that I'm going to have to either what? I'm going to have to take these off yeah. and clean them or I'm going to just try to, uh, you know, squint and see around them. And see, this is what we've got to do. See, we, we, who got time to be, you know what I'm saying, sitting squinting and, and, right. and, and trying to look through and, 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 and trying to catch a glimpse of crap. No, I want to see the whole. Yes. I want to see the totality yes. of everything God is revealing in this dispensation of yes. time. And so this is why we got to make sure we have clear prophetic vision because it's not just what's seeing right here, Ma. It's what's seeing the things to come. That's right. Because Holy That's Spirit right. said he will show us things yes. to come. And we yes. need to see those things to come yes, so that we, we know that when we are going forth in our daily lives and, and, and we're going forth to fulfill the agendas of God, we know where we're headed. Yes. That we, so we don't get blindsided. Yes. You know, we don't get bombarded uh, by the adversary. And, you know, because, you know, have you ever uh, uh, heard a person talk and they've experienced something and they say, man, I didn't see that coming. Right. Ah, man, I got blindsided. I didn't even know yes. that was going to happen, you know? Yes. And God forbid if that happens to us because we know the one who knows all things yes. and who knows those things to come. Yes. And so this is why we've got to make sure, amen, that we are seeing things clearly and that we're plugged in and tapped in to hear the voice of God. Yes. Amen? And yes. so let's begin to go into this because I want to share uh, this experience because I went to um, the optometrist for my yearly eye exam and, um, and, and so, of course, you guys know, you've always, you know, you've had eye exams. You, you know how they go and so forth. And so when I uh, went and got there, you know, of course, you know, uh, they call you back. And so I went into there and um, they run through a little series of tests and they want to first, you know, uh, scan your eyes and make sure uh, that there are uh, no uh, diseases, making yeah. sure there's nothing um, hindering your sight and so forth. And so that's the first test. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing they do. And so they take these x-rays and they take um, these scans of your eyes. And, and, and some for some of you, you know, you may have had your pupils dilated, but they have new technology now where they don't have to, you know, dilate your pupils. They can use this a particular uh, 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 scope or lens to be able to see and, you know, and be able to determine uh, the things that's going on. And so uh, they begin to do that first. And, and, and this is what we've got to see here first, because, um, if, you know, if you you know, are, are living, which I think you should be, right? You're on this yes. line, right? Uh, at some point in time, um, all of us is going to have our vision tested. Yes. We're going to have that vision tested, you yes. know? And, and so, uh, and so here, uh, God is, you know, uh, dealing with us and, 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 and there are some things that God may be having, uh, you to deal with, go back and uh, begin to look at because, uh, we, we, we can't go through life. We can't go through our purpose, uh, uh going, uh, uh, to fulfill our destiny with spiritual glaucoma or cataracts yes. or those things that will hinder our sight, you yes. know? And so God, uh, um, is allowing us to deal with 
some things, amen, so it can begin to deal uh, with those uh, issues that can what obscure or, or begin to hinder your eyesight. And so, of course, I went through all of those tests and everything was good. And so they said, now let's go to the next part. And so I begin to go into uh, the next room. And so this is where the, uh, the doctor comes in. And so, of course, you know, they begin to put all these lenses. They begin to put all these screens and so forth. And so, of course, you know, they ask you, are you having any problems seeing and so forth or, you know, anything like that. And so, um, you know, of course, I'm talking and like, no, don't have any problems or what have you. And so keep in mind that the glasses that I'm wearing now are not so much glasses to help me see because I have 2020 vision, but these are prescribed readers and these glasses are designed to what? To perfect my focus. Yes. Come on to perfect yes. my focus. Y'all know where I'm going, right? <laughs> They're designed to help me to stay uh, focused and to be able to see things clearly because, because of what I do, because of what God has called me to do. Uh, many a times I'm, I'm in front of a screen, a camera or some kind of lit, a lit up monitor. Um, and those lights and different things like that can have bearings on your eyes yes. and they can begin to um, impact the way you see. And so these glasses, these readers, these prescribed uh, lenses are specifically designed for my eyes uh, mm -hmm. to help me to be able to do what I do and it not be what not begin you know and not and that the things that I have to do it around uh, don't impact and affect my mm -hmm. eyes and so so this script is written for my eyes and so uh, so it, so I don't wear glasses because I can't see I wear glasses to help me to see the way I need to yes come on and see, many of us, we, 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 we've got to understand that, you know, that, that, that God has given each and one of us vision. He has given us uh, something to see, something to behold. Uh, but, but see, some of us, uh, we, we're not seeing it through the right lens. Yes. And we're going to talk a little bit about that uh, a little bit later. We're not seeing it through the right lens. And so here, of course, you know, um, he, he, he began to take, they took my glasses and they read the script on the glasses and they, you know, and because they want to see if your vision changed, they want to see if your, if your ability to see has changed. And so they begin to do this. And so, and so here now, um, all of these things were done. And so, um, and, and so he said, well, you know, your eyes look great. Um, they very healthy. Um, I don't see any, um, issues. I don't see any complications. Um, your vision didn't change. He said, uh, we're just going to really pretty much, if you want to get new frames, he said, uh, you can go ahead, you can get new frames. He said, and, and the script is pretty much the same. He said, because your eyes, um, you're doing great. And, and, and so here, you know, he said, but I want to make sure and just want you to look through a few other screens. And so um, he began to put the screen before me and he said, I want you to read uh, the, the smallest line in front of you that you can. And, um, and so he said, and he said, whichever one, he said, if you can read the smallest, read it. He said, but you know, but read the one that you can see the most clearly. Okay. And so I read the, 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 the line with 2020, I read it. And so, uh, you know, and, and, and so, um, he switched the lens on me. He said, I want you to uh, look again though. And he switched and changed the lens on me. He said, look through this one now and tell me what line you can read. He said, is that better or worse? And so of course he switched the lens and it made it blurry. It, it, it made it a, a little bit difficult for me to see and make out something that was just within feet of me. And, and, and so uh, it made it uh, a very uh, difficult and it changed, uh, uh, you know, what uh, or how I was seeing. And so, um, and so this is what I want you to understand if we're going to do anything by points or anything of that nature. This is the first thing I want you to see is that, uh, see, the enemy don't want you to see things clearly. Right. He, he, he wants you to, uh, he wanted to be blurry. He wanted to be obscured and obstructed. You know, he don't want you to be able to see uh, uh, the, the, the truth of what's before you. And, and, and so, of course, he, he switched the lens. And, and, and so he said, is this better or worse? I said, well, that's worse, you know. And so he switched it back. And, and you know, and they do this constantly because they're trying to see, is there a, consistent, uh, a consistency with the way you're seeing? Mm -hmm. Or is it changing? based on what's in front of you. And see, come on, that's a point right there because we got to make sure we're consistently yeah. walking by yeah. faith. We got to yeah. be consistent in what God yeah. showed us and don't let it change because of what the enemy is putting yeah. before us. Because yeah. some of us, you wake up today believing you're healed and then tomorrow you speak it, you know, contrary. We got to make sure that we are not double-minded and unstable in our ways and going to and fro and speaking life one minute but then speaking defeat in another. 
another a minute. We got to make sure that the way we're seeing is not being changed based on what is being put in front of us. Yes. Because I'm telling you, it's a lot being put in front oh, of us, yes, right? Yes. A lot of things are happening. A lot of yes. things are going on. And we got to make sure that we're not letting that impact or affect how we see. So I was able, I said, listen, uh, that's blurry. So when he went back to the lens that, that was, you know, that was right, I could see fine. And then he switched and went to another one. And then, you know, they go to another and they say, okay, well, is this one better or worse? And so then they take the one that you said was better. And then, and then they say, okay, well, let's now let's do another one. And they keep doing that, yes. but they're just trying to see and make sure, make sure that your works. seeing is consistent, yes. that your vision is consistent. Yes. Because from there is how they're going to determine, amen, what you need to help you to see the way you need to see. Yes. All right? Come on. I know you yes. want to say something. Go ahead. I'll pause there. Go ahead. I'll let you say something. Oh, I'm just sitting here thinking that uh, just like she's talking about vision, um, I was thinking about, she spoke about those specific lens and everything and see, uh, it, what it brought to mind for me is that we have to make sure that we're seeing through the lens of God's word. That's right. And we're, we're not seeing it through the lens of the world. That's right. Because, you know, there is a way that seems right to man, That's but right. the end thereof is destruction. That's right. And we have to make sure because, you know, the enemy is working hard. He's not working hard for those people he's already got. That's right. He already got them, but he's coming after us. That's right. And we have to make sure, and he's very cunning. And he'll try to sneak in mm -hmm. there. You know, even when you when you have a word, mm -hmm. he'll try to pervert it. Yes. You know, <laughs> he'll try to make you think, oh, that's not what he's saying. Mm -hmm. he, God doesn't mean that. He means this. <laughs> but see, we have to know he's a liar the voice of God mm -hmm. and know that the enemy is a liar because God is not going to speak anything yes. to us yes. that's contrary to, to his, his word. word. That's right. So, uh... You know, that vision is most important. Yes. Most important. That's why he gave us the word. Okay. That's right. So that we don't have to mm -hmm. look through somebody's else glasses. That's right. Okay. That's right. Because if I put on Trace's glasses, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to see a mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as long as I'm wearing these glasses, mm -hmm. okay. I can see with them because they have been fitted to me. Well, it's the same thing. God has fitted things to every one of us That's according right. to his calling on That's us, right. according to his word. That's right. So we have to make sure, not only that we have the right lenses, okay, but we also have to make sure that we are hearing from the right source. That's right. So, Amen to that. Okay, so I'm going to be quiet. No, <laughs> uh-uh. That's, that's, that's so powerful. We we got to see through the lens of the word and not the world. And we yeah. got to make sure that we're what we're seeing from through the right source. Because a lot of times we look back and and, and that's why a lot of times we get stuck. And we, we say, I don't see how this is going to happen. Right. Because right? you're looking exactly. at the wrong place. Exactly. You're looking in the wrong place. He said, yeah. look to the hills yes. from which cometh your Amen. help. Your help Amen. comes from the Lord. You got to make sure yes. you're looking to him. You got to make sure you're trusting in him. And see, that's the thing. We, 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 we don't look in the right direction. Amen. We don't look in the right direction and see, and, and, and if we're looking to God, if we're trusting God, if we're looking into the word and we're seeing it through the lens of the word, it yes. doesn't matter what happened because God said those things in which you see are temporal, but yes. those things which you don't see are eternal. And so we have to yes. say, listen, I don't care what happened. I don't care what it looks like. Yes. It's like what Elijah, when he told his yes. servant, go out there and check because he heard the sound of an abundance of rain yes. and he sent his servant out there. His servant didn't see anything. That's right. His servant didn't hear anything and yes. he didn't see anything but Elijah heard <laughs> yes. and Elijah had to discount those no yes. rain reports. He had to say listen Amen. Go check again. Yes. Go and check again because yes. he knew what he heard. Yes. And he did not let what he heard be affected by what somebody else didn't see. And come yes. on, let's Amen. be true. But somebody didn't Amen. see greatness in you. Amen. Somebody didn't see uh, the yes. anointing on you. Somebody yes. didn't see God's hand on your life. But yes. it didn't mean that it wasn't there. That's it didn't right. mean that you didn't hear God Amen. say do this. It didn't mean that you didn't hear God call you. It's Amen. there. And you got to tell them, listen, you go check again because I know what I heard. I know Amen. I heard him call me to this place. I know I 
I heard him call me to this industry. I know he yes. called He called me to this area, this spirit. Yes. I know what God said. And so Amen. regardless of what somebody don't see, don't you let that impact what you Amen. have seen. Because sometimes, Amen. see, this is what we're going to go into. Sometimes people can't see in you because they can't see at all. Yes. Come on. So yes. they ain't seeing it because they ain't seeing. You understand yes. what I'm saying? And because they don't see it, don't mean it's not there. So That's I'm here right. to tell you the anointing is there. The, yes. the blessing of God is there. The yes. favor of God is there. The presence of God is there. The peace of God is there. The yes. hand of God is there. It's there. It's on your life. Yes, it it is. is in you. Yes. Amen. It's upon you. And you are everything God said that you yes. are. Yes. Yes. You're everything he said that you are. Amen. And just because somebody can't see it don't mean it ain't there. Amen. Glory to God. You've got to stand and you've got to say, listen, I know who and whose I am. Okay? Yes. I know what God has called me to do. And I know uh, that he is for me. And so you got to stand on that and don't, don't allow yourself, amen, to be determined and, 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 and to be distinguished by what men say. Yes. Yes. Okay? You got to hold on to the word and you got to say, listen, yes. like Jesus said, I come in the volume of the book written of me. Yes. I come in that volume. I know what the word says about me. He says I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. I'm yes. blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the yes. field. I'm blessed when I sit. I'm blessed when I rise. Amen. I'm anointed. I'm appointed. I'm chosen for a yes. time such as this. He Amen. is with me. He never leaves me. He never yes. forsake me. He yes. is a very present help in trouble. This is all of what God said about you and you got to believe that even when somebody else don't. Yes. You got to say that yes. even when somebody else don't speak it. You got to see it even when somebody yes. else ain't seeing it. Come on. Yes. You got to do, amen, what uh, what you need to do, amen, regardless of what somebody else is willing to. Amen. You got to say, listen, I'm going to believe. Yes. I'm going to stand strong in my faith and I'm going to consider not. Amen. I don't yes. care. Yep. I, nobody in my family ever did it. Nobody around me ever Amen. said it or built it, but I'm the first. Amen. And God said it to me and I'm going to do it and I can do all things through Christ who yes. strengthens me. Amen. You got to begin to believe that and you got to say that yes. regardless of what somebody else is saying. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so, so let's Amen. begin to go into these points because here, um, after this exam, after, uh, after everything got cleared and he said, listen, he said, your vision hasn't changed. It's the same. He said, you can go get new frames and see, this is what I want you to understand because the frame itself is not the vision. It's that which holds upholds it. Come on. It's that which upholds it. And so he said, you can go with, um, you can go get new frames. And so, 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 so I, I went out and I began to pick the frames that I wanted and so forth. And so, uh, they begin to select, uh, you know, I mean, uh, apply, you know, the script and everything. And so, uh, they told me, they said, okay, um, after I, uh, after I selected and they said, okay, well, it's going to take about a couple of weeks or so uh, for you to get them. And so they said, we'll call you when they're ready. And, and, and that's one of the things I want to, uh, to just kind of pause there because, uh, some of us after getting the vision, we get anxious. Yes. After we get uh, the reveal, after we get what God said, we get in a hurry. And, 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 we, and we lose the, you know, the desire to be patient and wait. And, yes. and we have to make sure that uh, we don't get haste because uh, we get into a place where we try to now start bringing things to pass. Right. We start trying to make yes. things happen. Yes. And that's a very dangerous thing to do. And so, yes. uh, so we got to make sure because I, I, I got the script, I got the vision, but I had to wait for it. Yes. And that brings to mind Habakkuk too, right? He said, yes. what, for the vision is yet for what? An appointed yes. time. An appointed he said, it testifies yes. about the end. It testifies. Yes about the end and it will not lie he says though it delays wait for it yes though it delays wait for it and he said and, and he said it, it will surely come to pass it will not be late and so we've got to understand that that the importance of patience in this time because uh, we cannot uh, just rush and do things and, and take matters into our own hands and think right. we need to bring. God said he bring exactly. his word to pass. Exactly. You know, something the Lord told me years ago. He said, Tracy, I didn't tell you to perform my word. I just showed you to believe it. Amen. Believe Amen. it. He said, I perform my word. Amen. Amen. And so, so we don't, we, that takes the pressures off. All I got to do is believe his word. Amen. See, I don't have to make myself heal. I just got to believe that I already am. Amen. Believe the word that says I am. I don't have to make myself rich. All I got to do is believe the word that says I am already yes. that. Amen? Amen. And so this is the thing. It's not about my behaving. It's about my believing. It's about Amen. me believing the word of God and standing on it. Amen. And Amen. counting it. What? Counting it. 
Yes. It's true unto me because the yes. word of God, he said, amen. every promise is a yes and an amen for me. Yes. And so that means that when God spoke something, when he gives me something, I don't have to be in a hurry and a rush to bring it to pass. Amen. amen. You remember that time when, 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 when my sister was pregnant and, you know, and she was, you know, she was so ready to have yeah. um, my niece. And so people started telling her all these things to do. Oh, you can go and it'll make you go into labor. You can do this. And let me, and she did it all and nothing happened. Right. Nothing. And I'm going to tell you, you haven't done all you could do and still right. ain't nothing happened. Exactly. Because though the vision, what you wait for it. He said, he said that, that though it delays, he said that it will certainly come to pass. Yes, it won't be late. And so will. many of us yes. have not seen it. Why? Because it's not time for it. Yes. Many of us have not encountered because it's not time. And God said, listen, be patient. Let patient have his perfect work yes. that you will be entire, yes. lacking nothing, right? Lacking nothing, and so yes. we can't rush, or we can, Amen. but it's not a, it's not beneficial for yes. us to try to rush things, to That's try to right. hurry up and, and, and have right. things prematurely. Because Amen. when God gives us, when God speaks to us, when God instructs us, listen, if God, if, if, if God made it, right, he can perform it. He can yes. do it. Yes. And he knows. And so a lot of times we get the vision, mom, but we, yes. but we get into a place where we get anxious. Yes. And we want to hurry things up. Yes. We want to make things happen. See, it's yes. like what God gave the vision to Abram and Sarai, right? Told yes. them they were going to have a son. And so what happened? Now they were trying to bring what God it said to pass. And yes. see, every time we do that, every time we begin to do that, we birth an Ishmael. Yes. We birth an Ishmael. Ishmael represents those things we produce in the flesh. But Isaac represents those things that God has birthed in the spirit. And Amen. so this is the only reason why many of us are dealing with Ishmael's is because what? We didn't deal with our flesh. We didn't Amen. wait for it. Amen. We didn't wait for it. And I, I'm telling you, uh, I, I'm talking to those where the spirit of anxiousness and, and patience and so forth is on you. And you're, you're like, man, but, but how much longer? How much longer? You know, mm -hmm. listen, wait for it. Amen. I, I'm telling you, just Amen. wait for wait. it. It's, yes. Listen, it will, listen, yes. though it tarry, it will come to pass. Yes, because will. you will see the fullness. You will see the, you will see everything that God said. If you just be still and know that he is God. Amen. Don't get in a hurry. Amen. Don't get anxious. The Bible say, be anxious for nothing, but by everything, by prayer yes. and supplication. Give, yes. He said, make your request yes. known unto God and then come forth for Thanksgiving. Yes. Trust God. Amen. Amen. Trust God. Yes. Thank God. Amen. Yes. That, that, that he is faithful and yes. faithful is he that promised. Stand yes. on the word. Don't be moved. Because see, yes. we get into a place where now we start looking around and we're watching the watch. Yes. We're watching time and we letting time talk to us and we sitting up here saying, well, Lord, by this time now, I should have been by right, this time now. No, right, by this time now, right. you still should be praising. By That's this time right. now, you still should be trusting. Mm -hmm. By this time now, you should still be declaring yes. that thus said the Lord and he yes. said it and it's so. Yes. It's so. Don't allow yourself, amen, to get pulled into that spirit because we're in a time now, mom, where everybody's so anxious. They want yes. everything right, right now. now. This yeah. microwave mentality, I want it now. I yeah. want this now. I want marriage now. I want kids now. Yes. I want this job now. I want money now. I want all this stuff. And yes. don't want to wait. Don't want to allow themselves to be, you know, uh, built up and, 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 and matured for that yes. which is to come. Yes. And they get anxious. Yes. And because you get anxious, you get into trouble. Yes. And you get into things that you are not ready, you know, and, and, and so yes. this is why, uh, you know, uh, many of people, they have gotten into places where they were supposed to be, but they won't be able to stay there because their character was not mature enough to handle yes. it. Yes. And so we've got to let a man patience Amen. have his perfect work. Yes. We got to make sure that we're not getting haste because like I said, you don't want an Ishmael, you want an Isaac. Amen. You want an Isaac. You want what God is birthing in your life, not what you produce. Because see, they, they made the mistake. Sarah made the mistake, you know, and it came back to aggravate. It came yes. back to taunt, right? Yes. You know, and so this is the thing. You know, we want to make sure we're making the decisions that are according to God's purpose and plan. Amen. So we yes. got to wait on the Lord. Yes. I mean, the Bible says, wait on yes. the Lord, right? I say, yes. and wait patiently, patiently for him. And be of good And courage. be of good courage. Yes. Be of good cheer. Amen. Yes. Wait on the Lord. See, it's important of us waiting. Because yes. that because if we don't wait, if we take matters in 
my own hand. It's like King Saul. Remember, mm -hmm. he didn't wait for the prophet uh, for right. the prophet Samuel to come right. and to offer the sacrifice. No, he tried to please the people. He yes. he did it himself, and that was not what he was supposed to do. And it cost him the kingdom. Yes, it cost him his position. It cost him his place. And so now as a result of it, what? The kingdom was taken from him. And that's why David now had became the next appointed king. And see, some of us, listen, uh, we, we're not waiting. We're taking things. We're, we're, we're doing things that we're not supposed to be doing. And you know you're not supposed to be doing that. You know you're not supposed to be stressing. You know you're not supposed to be seeking this. You know you're not supposed to be listening to that. But we are not allowing a God's word to anchor us, mom. We, we, yes. We're getting to a place where we're getting just, you know, oh, I, you know, I need to see something now. Yes. Yes. I need to happen. I need it to happen now. You know, I have recently cooked uh, my family some soup, right? And so um, I could have cooked it on the stove and made it quick, but I didn't want to do that because, see, it's something about when you let things cook slow, yeah. you know, all of those flavors and all of those spices and seasonings marry and, uh, and they begin to uh, uh, come together and begin to uh, uh, just really begin to penetrate through the dish. And it, and it just makes it so much more flavorful and so much more better. So I put it um, in a crock pot and, and I put all the spices and the herbs and all the things there. And, and I just let it cook low and slow. And, 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 it, and then, so of course, once it was ready and when my family tasted, how did it taste? It was great. <laughs> it was so good, y'all. Yeah. It was so good. And I'm here to tell you, listen, some of y'all see God, is, he's, he's got you in the crock pot, but you mm -hmm. that climbed out and tried to get in the yes. microwave. Yes. You trying to make it happen in fast and you trying yes. to make it happen in a hurry, but get yes. back in the crock pot. Exactly. Let it be slow and let exactly. it simmer. Cause I tell you when it's done, you will say, you will taste of the Lord and you will see that he is good. Yes, you you will yeah. see that all yeah. things have come yeah. together. Everything Amen. has worked in, in, into that uh, into the ingredient. All the ingredients have worked together and come, and it has cooked up something sweet for you. Amen. Yeah. And so I want you to be encouraged. Don't be anxious. Wait yes. for it. Most simple. So I had to wait. Yes. I had to wait, right? And so then finally, uh, and and this is the thing. What was so interesting? It wasn't even two weeks. I don't even think it was a week that they called me back to tell me the glasses were ready, right? And so, uh, and see, some of us, you know, uh, you know, you, you, you're not like those I just talked about. You're like, you know what, Tracy, I, I hear you. I've been waiting, you know, uh, I, I, I've been trusting. I, I, I ain't got in a hurry. I'm like, God, any day now, I praise you, Lord. I'm, I'm being patient. And, and I just want to tell you right now, because of your obedience, because of the spirit of the Lord is saying right now, because of your obedience, uh, that which, uh, you thought was going to take a year. He said, what's to, what take a year is going to actually take a month. What was going to take a month was, it's actually only going to take weeks. What yeah. would take a week is actually yeah. only going to take days. What would take days will only actually take hours. What would take hours is actually only going to take minutes. Yeah. That is what the spirit of the Lord is saying to you and what you have been waiting for. You are expect to see it. The Lord said, expect yeah. to see some things in this month expect to see uh, that which you are standing on and you are believing he said because of your obedience because you would not faint in your faith because you will not stagger at my promises God said I am not a man that I shall lie he said watch for me because I am about to perform a work in your day says the yes. Lord glory to Amen. God Woo! Amen. I receive that for Hallelujah. me glory to God me too yeah glory to God you Hallelujah. about to see the Lord uh, manifest some things because you did not get out of the crock pot yes. you 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 stay there and yeah it was hot yep you were waiting and you and you know people were laughing at you people were talking about you people were saying you're silly you're stupid people was calling you all kind of names or or making you think that you were crazy but you yeah. stayed there and yeah. you did not give up or give in but you yeah. kept pressing you kept yeah. pushing you kept yeah. believing it's like Noah who ain't seen rain but he built that ark it yeah. took a hundred years yes a hundred years but he did not stagger. He did not doubt God. He kept building. I'm here to tell you, glory to God. Yeah. Keep building, glory Keep to God. Building. Stand yeah. your position. Stand yeah. your ground. And faint not, because faithful is he that promised. Listen, yeah. you have to look. You, you have to know that God sees you. Jehovah yeah. Ra, he sees you where you are. And he yes. will reward you for your obedience. Glory yes, to God. He will. Yes, he He's will. rewarding you for your obedience. Yes. You did not give up. 
You didn't give in when everybody else threw in the towel yes. and quit. You stayed there. Hallelujah. And God says, look, he said, there is a reward for them. He look, didn't Paul, he said, endure yes. as a good soldier. Yes. Endure. Amen. Yes. You have endured. Glory yes. to God. And yes. I'm telling you, God is about to manifest a work in your day. Yes. Glory to God. I receive yes. that, Lord. Hallelujah. I receive that. Glory He's doing a work God. in your day. Yes. Amen. Yes. He's doing yes. a work in your day. And so yes. don't look, listen, he sees you. He knows. And listen, for those of you who have got, praise God. It's all good. It's all yes. right. It's yes. all right. Listen, you may have gotten impatient and you try to do it. It's, it's yes. all good because look, Isaac is still on his way. Yes. Isaac is yes. still in the making. Listen, you might have yes. birthed the Ishmael, but God still got an Isaac. Yes. Come on. He yes. still got an Isaac for you. It hasn't changed. Yes. His plan hasn't changed. Yes. You know, it's like a GPS system. When you got the directions, you got the address in there and you take a wrong turn, right? It don't say, I give up. I'm not going to direct you no more because you took a wrong turn and I told yes. you to go right and you went left. It don't say that. It says rerouting. Yes. It says recalculating. Come yes. on. Y'all on recalculation. Yes. Come on. You yes. on recalculation. You on the reroute. God is turning and shifting some things to get yes. you back in the plan yes. and the purpose he has for you. God is turning some situations, amen, to get you back on the road that he would have you to travel, to get you back into the places yes. that he would have you to be. You're just rerouting. Come on. He reroutes yes. you. He don't readdress you. He just yes. rerouting. Amen. He's yes. just getting you back to the place where you need to be. Getting you back connected to the people you need to be uh, connected to. He's just recalibrating. Amen. He's just yes. bringing you back into the place of alignment. Amen. Where you can get to where he's called you to be. It's all good. Yes. It's all good. See, the enemy wants you to, oh, see, I done messed up. Uh-uh. He done messed up. <laughs> he done messed yeah. up. Because, listen, God says, listen, no weapon formed against you will prosper. That's right. Amen. And so all you got to do is stand. Amen. And trust yes, that yes. God loves you. He's not mad at you. Amen. He's not disappointed in you. His hand is still on your life. Yes, Amen. He's yes. still with you. He said, I will yes. never leave you or forsake yes. you. God ain't good to you because you good. He good to you because he's good. Amen. Yes. And he's Amen. faithful. Amen. He's faithful. Yes. Amen. And he said he's still closer than any brother. Hallelujah. Amen. He's not going to leave you. So come on, y'all. We're going to stand in faith. Yes. We're going to be still. We're going to be patient and wait on the Lord. Amen. And, yes. and, and it doesn't matter whoever come. Somebody come and say, I thought you said the Lord told you. I thought you said the Lord said you're going to have. I thought you said the Lord. You know what you do? Tell them two, three words. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. sure. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Wait for it. You know, yeah, my yes. mom said you should have never told them in the first place. You know, because sometimes we do. We tell people yeah. things and we now have to battle right. uh, their words and stuff right. because, their you know, they use them, their doubt and stuff. But listen, yes. I say this all the time. Just because somebody says something can't be done, that's their limitations, that's not right. yours. Amen. It's not yours. Amen. That means they can't do it, but you can. Amen. If you believe, he said all Amen. things are possible, then that believe. Yes. So if you believe it, it's possible for you. Amen. 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 And so listen, Amen. don't let somebody sway you off. Don't let somebody get you, you know, uh, uh, off into doubt and so forth Amen. because they don't see it. See, that servant didn't see it. But Elijah heard it. Amen. He heard it. Amen. He didn't see it. You know, and what if Elijah had gave up and said, you know what? After the first time, after the second time, after the third time. Right. What if he said, well, man, maybe I heard God wrong. Maybe I didn't hear him clearly. You know, maybe I, I misread or whatever. And, mm -hmm. and see, some of y'all, see, that's what the enemy wants you to doubt. Yes. Because you're trying to get some man to see what you heard. And yes. listen, yes. they don't need to see it. Yes. They don't need to, but you do. God gave yes. it to you. God yes. showed yes. it to you. You believe in it. Amen. Yes. You Amen. stand on it. They they don't have to. Amen. Amen. You the one got to believe in it. Amen. Don't give up. And see, you may have said, but Tracy, I, I, I was believing it's been a whole year. Listen. That man had to go back and check seven times. Amen. And then there was a cloud the size of a man's hand. Naomi yes. had to dip seven times. Yes. And then when he came up, his skin after the seven time was clear yes. as a baby's skin. See, I'm yes. telling you, don't give up. Amen. Don't give in. Some of y'all, you're just on the brink. You're just on the break of your breakthrough. Yes. And, and don't give up. Yeah, you 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 on your six. You're going down. But I promise you, if you go down again on your knees and give thanks, when you come up, you're going to see the promise yes. manifest right before Amen. you. Don't give up. Yes. Amen. Let patience have its perfect work. Yes. 
And mm -hmm. some of you, like I said, it wasn't even long. I, I thought it was two weeks, but it came sooner. And see, some of y'all, listen, it came sooner. Amen. It's going to come sooner than what you think. It's yes, like what it the is. Lord showed me in my car when I looked at that side view, uh, mirror and it had written on the things are closer than what they appear. Come on. Yeah. They're closer yeah. than what they appear. Amen. They're closer than what they appear. Amen. It may look like, but listen, we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Hey, Amen. Yes, we look through the lens man. of the word. Amen. We look through the lens of the word and God says, listen, though it tarry, he said, look, wait for it. It will come to pass. Yes. It will come to pass. So don't give yes, up and don't will. give in. Amen. So yes, let me give you these final points as we, as we're getting to a close, but here it is. So now uh, I got the call and they, they had me to come in. And so, uh, and so right away, you know, um, I, I, I get into the place and I stand there and, and I, I enter into the door. And so when I came in, when I arrived and I got in the door, uh, no one acknowledged that I had come in and I was just standing there. Nobody said, hello, welcome or anything. Can I help you? And you know, they was working with other people, but they saw me come in the door and nobody said anything. And so right away here, the, the, the suggestion of offense Mm -hmm. Try to come, you know, and, 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 you know, and get offended, but I don't get offended because see, one thing I understand that people can only, you know, they can't do things to you without your permission. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't let people determine how I'm going to feel. Amen. So I patiently stood there and I waited and I waited. And so, you know, and so we, what we have to do is we got to understand, you know, we don't have to let ourselves get offended and, you know, get upset and things of that nature. Why? Because, see, you got to know who you are before you even walk through the door. You got to know who you are. Amen. Because, Amen. see, that's the thing. Many of us have gotten upset because somebody didn't recognize you. Because somewhere didn't recognize you. Because something didn't recognize you. And you got upset because you felt like, you know, like they, they deemed me to be invaluable or insignificant. Let me tell you, there was a man who wasn't recognized. His name is David. He wasn't recognized. He wasn't <laughs> counted, right? right? Well, he we wasn't counted, counted in. in. But let right. me tell you, because his father and his family didn't recognize him, God saw him <laughs> and he knew who he was. Yes. And so I want you to understand. Hey. Understand? Man. You got to know who you are before yeah. you even walk through that door. You got to know that you have been recognized yeah. by God. You got to know that even though man overlooked you, God has already overtook you and yeah. he is with you and his hand is on your life. And it yes. doesn't matter what any man say to Amen. you because you know what God has already spoken over yes. you. So Amen. I stood. Amen. I stood. Because I wasn't going to get moved. I wasn't going to get impatient. I wasn't going to get in, you know, irate or get, uh, you know, upset or offended. Because I know who I am. And I know that 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 at, at some point in time, you know, I, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, what you do. Because here it is, finally, the, one of the workers spoke out and said, oh, uh, you know, and she started, greeted me. And then she said, oh, I apologize for us not recognizing you when you walked in and such and such and such and such. And she went on and so forth. And she, you know, apologized. She said, we're, just a moment, we'll, we'll be right with you. And see, listen, I'm telling you. It is no way that we're going to, listen, you, it doesn't matter who don't or won't see you. It doesn't matter who won't recognize you. Because see, some of y'all, y'all in a place, uh, and, and you're in a workplace, you're in an area, and, and they won't recognize your gift. They won't, yeah. they won't recognize your skill. They won't recognize who you are. They, they won't acknowledge uh, uh, what you are. And, and it's okay. It's all good. Because if you just keep standing. That's right. If you just be patient, don't get mad, don't get offended, you know, don't, don't get, don't get caught up in all of that. Cause see, the enemy wants you to go there. He wants you to get in strife mm -hmm. and all that. But if you would just keep standing yes. in humility, yes. keep standing yes. in humility, keep standing, amen. amen. And in patience, keep standing in love, mm -hmm. keep standing in peace. Yes. Listen, it is no way uh, that, 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 that they won't be able to what ignore because listen, they had to recognize eventually yes. because there's no way your presence won't be made known. Amen. Amen. It's no way uh, that they won't be able to see you and see, listen, you know, some of you, listen, you, 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 you've been in a place, you've been, you've been in a, in an area where, you know, it's like, man, I, I'm, I'm being ignored. I'm being ignored. Nobody sees me here. Nobody, nobody recognizes me here. No, nobody uh, speaks and acknowledges me here. It, listen, it's all good because yes. God sees uh, you. Yes. 
Amen. God recognized you. God yeah. has acknowledged you. Didn't he say, yeah. listen, when David came in that room, he spoke to his prophet and said, arise. He acknowledged him and said, yeah. this is the one. When Jesus came out of that water with John the Baptist after baptizing him to God, he, look, his father spoke and acknowledged yeah. him and said, this is my yeah. son with whom I am well pleased. Yeah. Listen, God has acknowledged you. Yes. He has acknowledged you. Amen. He has spoken over you. And don't you uh, let because of what somebody failed to see or even wanted to Amen. see or, you know, or even was happy to see. Don't let that affect you and impact you. Listen, you keep standing in humility. Amen. You keep standing in love. Amen. You keep standing in peace. Amen. Because listen, because your presence cannot be overlooked. Your presence can't be overlooked. The anointing on your life, it can't yeah. continue to be overlooked. Yeah. The, the, the presence of God on your life, the wisdom, the favor of God on your life cannot yes. continually be overlooked. Because listen, it's like what they said about Peter and the disciples. That people looked at them and saw they had been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. It's no way you're going to have too much evidence in your life. You're going to have too much manifestation yeah. in your life. And at that point in time, there's going to have to be recognized. God is with Evelina. God yes, is with Tracy. Is. Let me see somebody. Yeah. God is with Veronda and Jan. Yeah. God is with Robin. Amen. God yeah. is with Maria. Come on. God is yeah. with Janet. God is with Pamela. God is yeah. with them. Amen. Yes, and, and, amen. And we ain't got nothing to prove. Amen. We don't have anything to prove. God Amen. is with Janai. We don't have nothing to prove. God is Amen. with Janice. We have nothing to prove. Amen. Amen. Because listen, if we would just keep walking and standing in humility and love, yes. your presence yes. and the presence of God, the peace yes. of God, the love of God, the anointing of God, the power of God, it cannot be ignored. Amen. It can't be ignored. But come on, Amen. let me get to this last part, y'all. Come on. So now look at this. So now finally, they get me in the seat. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Taylor, and blah, 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 and da, 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 da. and she's just going on, going on, going on. And I'm like, it's all good, it's all good, okay, you know, good. So she go back and she pulled my glasses, and she comes up with the glasses, Mom. And so now she opens up the case, and as she's opened up the case, she said, now, uh, you know, these are workspace only. And I said, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. This is wrong. She said, oh, no, this is what we had, that workspace only. And, 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 and so that means that, the, uh, the, the lens that they put in there were lenses that only allow you to see arm's length. <laughs> and I said, that's not correct. So it's, it's lenses that only let you see arm's length, but not a head. Okay? Y'all know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. I rejected it. I didn't accept it. Why? Because I will not be limited or settle for what I am supposed to have. Amen. I'm supposed to have this script. You ain't going to give me another script. Amen. I'm supposed to have this lens. You ain't going to give me another lens. And see, that's why I'm telling you the dangers of, because see, we're in a dispensation of time where the adversary is trying to get you to settle. Yeah. He's trying to get you to settle for the little. He's trying to obstruct your vision. And, you know, a substitute. And see, I'm not getting no counterfeit. Yeah. No, Amen. I want the pure, organic, Amen. authentic things of God, thing. the real yeah. deal. Yes. Amen. Amen. I want that which God has given me. And so I'm not going to allow somebody to alter my script and change how I'm supposed Amen. to see. Amen. I can't just see arm's length. I need to see what's ahead. Amen. I need to be able to see beyond. Amen. Amen. I need to be able to see beyond where I am and see, listen, th this is where we're at because see, uh, because of uh, folks are not uh, resisting the enemy mm -hmm. because they're not rejecting this. You know, we're, we're getting into a place of contentment and settlement mm -hmm. and we're allowing ourselves to live the lesser when we're supposed to have the most. That's right. And see, I'm not going to do that. So I said, no, yeah. no, that's not going to work. Those Amen. are not for me. And, you know, and so here she was like, well, this is what we have. I said, well, what you have is wrong. I said, go back to the chart, go back to the exam, go back to the original script. And so that you can see. And so when she went to pull the chart, when she began to open up the chart, she saw, she said, oh, wow, this was put in wrong. And so now she had to put the correct one in. And this is what I'm here to tell you. Listen, some of you, you know what? The enemy has tried to present to you a counterfeit. Mm -hmm. He's trying to present to you yeah. something and say, look, see through this yeah. lens, see it through this way, see yeah. it through this perverted, per, uh, yeah. per, uh, per, you know, uh, this perverted perspective, see it through this. And, but yeah. listen, I'm here to tell you, listen, uh-uh, don't you settle for that. Go no, back to the script. No. Go back to yes. the original exam. Amen. Go to the original word. Amen. The volume Amen. of the book that is written of you. Go back to the promise of God Amen. because that is what's supposed to be upon you. That Amen. is what you're supposed to have. You ain't supposed to have that. Amen. 
And who wants that when God said you can have this? We ain't yeah. supposed to have that. And how many times right. and how many ways in life do we end up settling? Yes. So you know, good. accepting so what, what doesn't belong. Listen, exactly. sickness don't belong to you no more than that script belonged to me. That ain't the script for your life. God said you're healed by the stripes of Jesus. Yeah. Look, poverty don't belong to you. He said you're blessed indeed. Yes. He supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. If that's not the script for your life, it don't belong to you. Amen. The feet doesn't belong to you. He said, thanks be unto God who always called you to triumph through your Lord and Savior yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Listen, you don't accept it. Amen. Don't accept it. And so she start putting in the right script. She got putting it in. And see, I, I knew it because listen, I could, I had a decision. I could take them glasses. And so this is what she offered me. She said, well, Miss Taylor, I'm so sorry. She said, I tell you what, do you want to just take these and, and hold on to these until the new ones? No, I don't want those. That's not for me. That lens is not for me. I don't know whose script that is, but it ain't my script. That's not how I'm, that, that's not what's supposed to be on my eyes. And see, this is what we got to do because see, that's the subtleties of the enemy. Mm -hmm. See, uh, okay. Yes, All right. Exactly. I know, I, you know, I, I, I believe for this, but I'm going to go ahead and settle for this right, right. now. See, mm -hmm. some of you ladies, come on, I got to talk to my sisters. I got to talk to my sisters. We settling for Mr. Right now while we believing for Mr. Right. Uh-uh. Listen, believe God. Amen. Yeah. Don't settle for less. You Amen. deserve better. Amen. You deserve better. I don't, I don't know yes. who I'm talking. I'm talking to some woman on here. You in a relationship. And you know you don't need, you know you should be out of that relationship. You have settled. You have settled. You, you, you are only, uh, you know, you are only with them because you're afraid of being alone. And I'm telling you right now, you're not alone. God is with you. Amen. You're yes. settling. And you yes. know you need to break it off. You know you need to sever it because he don't value you. He don't, listen, where the, where the value of something is unknown, abuse is inevitable. He don't yeah. know your value. That's why he can't value you. He don't know the value of himself. And you've been enduring. You've been taking and you've been just putting out this, all of this stuff you putting out. It's time. Listen, cut the ties. Amen. Get, get rid of Ishmael Amen. and get your Isaac. Amen. Amen. Get rid of Ishmael. Don't you settle. Amen. Don't settle. You see it. You know it. Come on. Yeah. Go ahead. Loose it and let it go. Cut it off. Amen. Yeah. Because God's got better for you. And that's yeah. why we can't, okay, take this now while you're waiting. No, I ain't taking that. I'm taking what God has for me. I want what he has for me. So I'm not going to put them on my eyes and limit my seeing because yeah. that's only going, why would I, why would I put on something that's going to let me see less Right. And at a time true. where I need to see more? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to listen, the natural emulates the spiritual. I'm not going to take something and put it on my eyes that's going to hinder me from seeing more. Yeah. That's going to cause me to see less and a time I need to see more. I ain't got time. This is not the time to be blind. Amen. Amen. This is not the time to not have sight and vision. Amen. We need to be able to see. And I'm not just talking about in the spiritual. I'm talking about even in the natural. You need to be able to see. You need to be aware. Amen. And so I said, no, thank you. You keep those. I, I, I have no need. You know, I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep using these. I'm gonna keep using until the other ones come in. And so, Amen. of course, they set it up and they begin to put, you know, um, the the information in. And so she said, "Well, you know, it'll take a, a, the same amount of time." What did I say? I'm patient. That's I'm true. waiting for it. Amen? Amen. Because I know just because you said it's supposed to take doesn't mean it will. Amen. Come on. Just because the doctor Amen. said it's going to take this long don't mean it will. Just because <laughs> somebody said it's going to be like don't mean it's going to take that long. Come on. You got to say, listen, that's what you say. But that's not what I say. And that's not what the word says. Amen. Because I serve a God who's what? And suddenly. Yeah. I serve a God that can say straightway. I serve a God who can do things. Listen, in three days, hallelujah. Yeah. And I don't care what. What it is. Yeah. I don't care how it is. We serve a God who what? Who can call the dead uh, yeah. to life. Amen. Who can resurrect things that yeah. have, you know, have passed away. We serve a God, hallelujah, where there is nothing too hard for him. Yes. So I don't care what they said is what you say. And I said, Amen. oh, go ahead. Y'all can say that. But I know Amen. at the end of the day, what I will have what I need. Yes. I will have what I need. Yes. And that's what you got to believe. You're going to have what you need. Why? Because, listen, I, I wasn't going to accept it because I need to see. Amen. I need to have vision and clear vision. I need the script for my eyes so that I won't be missing what's ahead for me and what God is showing. So like my mother said, I could take her glasses and put them on my eyes. 
listen, they're glasses and they're, they're, they have a script in it, but that script ain't for me. Amen. I need to see the script that God has for me. Amen. And you need to see the script God has for you. Listen, don't let somebody else put their lenses on your eyes Amen. and say, I see you being this. I see you doing Amen. this. Well, listen, yeah. if God ain't shown you, don't you That's do it. That's right. Don't take nobody's word. Don't take nobody else's word because there's a way that seems right. Yeah. Amen. And some of us, listen, we listen to that. Oh, I see you being this. Oh, okay. Well, let me set out to do it. And now you're miserable. Come mm -hmm. on. We got to get, listen, we got to get into the purpose and plan of God. Yes. And do what God is telling us to do. Amen. Because, listen, I need to be able to see how God has given me to see. Yes. Come on, I'm going to let you say something. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. We at the end, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and say something. Oh, my goodness. You know, uh, I just want to say, stop accepting the devil's prescription. Yes. 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 He knows nothing about your sight. He knows nothing about you. God's prescription we have mm -hmm. right before us. We mm -hmm. can get it and read it mm -hmm. and any time we need it, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what has happened. Too many times God has given us something or told us something, and we settle just like Tracy was saying. You know, I'm going to share this, and then, I'm, then I'll shut up. Uh, I, was, I write poetry, and I write different stuff. Anyway, so I was, the Lord was giving me something to write. This time, it wasn't a poem. It was something else. And so I wrote that. Then he was giving me a poem. And I was writing. I said, Lord, I said, I've written so many poems. And I said, you know, uh, they seem really juvenile in a way. And uh, I said, uh, I would like to. You know, move on to something. And the Lord said to me, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow. He said, keep it simple. He said, uh, look at a lot of famous writers. They have written uh, many things. They have sold many things. And right away, my mind went to Shakespeare and all of that. You know, all that stuff we had in, in school that you had still mm -hmm. don't understand. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, it, it doesn't matter how great it is or how great the writing is. Mm -hmm. If no one can understand it well enough to put it into practice, it's, it's no amazing. good. It's no good. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. And I said, thank you, Lord. And I got my pen and what he was giving me, I wrote it down and was happy to have mm -hmm. it because you know sometimes mm -hmm. we have to be careful because we 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 as Tracy was saying they have given us the wrong glasses mm -hmm. and we sell them for them and we straining and we doing everything mm -hmm. to try to see through them and that's not our script mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's not going to work for mm -hmm. us so we have to be determined mm -hmm. God has a, a, a prescription for every one of mm -hmm. us but we can't settle just because somebody else want to give us a quick fix mm -hmm. we have to wait mm -hmm. to get from him what he has for us because that's the only way I our life mm -hmm. is going to have, you know, the uh, is, uh, the success that mm -hmm. he created us for. Mm -hmm. So, you know, wait on him. I don't care how long it seems, you know. Wait on him. Be mm -hmm. patient. Wait right. on him. That's right. That's right. And that's so good. And this is what, you know, we close with because you got to understand, see, it's nothing wrong with you. What's wrong is the script you're looking through, yes, the lens you're looking exactly. through. Exactly, it's the yes. wrong lens, it's the wrong script. You you send it yes. and listen. You know, God may have told this person to do it this way, but He's probably telling you to do it another way. Exactly. But, but but at the end of the day, you you know don't don't judge like I told you. Don't try to have your revolution on another man's revelation. Amen. You got to let God speak to you yes. and give it to you, instruct you. Right? Yes. He said, "I will instruct you in the way that yes. you should go." You know, yes. I will. He said, "Guide you with my hand." He said, "I." will speak to you. Amen. So we got to let God uh, speak to us and instruct That's us. Right. Amen. And so it's nothing wrong with you because many of you, you say, maybe it's something wrong with me. I'm not anointed. I'm not. Yes, you are anointed. You just operate in a place where God hasn't anointed you. Yes. 
See, she's anointed for that. He's right. anointed for that. But exactly. God has anointed you in another yes. area. That is not your sphere. That is not your industry. And so you've yes. got to get into the place where God has called you. Amen. you got to get to that place. And so, so it's nothing wrong with you. You thinking, well, you know, uh, it's me. It's me. No, it's not you. It's you. It's the lens. Yes. It's the script you've allowed yes. to be put on your eyes. So you wearing the vision of someone else and, and yes. when God has your own. See, they they was trying. They, they they had messed up the script, and, and that's why I said, I'm not taking that. That's not mine. It that's doesn't right. belong to me. I, I right. I'm not gonna put that on my eyes because, like I said, th this is not the time to be blind, and I need to see. Amen. You know, and and it's, it's it's no coincidence because, like I said, everything the natural emulates the spiritual because we are in the year right of of 2021, but we're approaching the year of 2022. And that is the year of, of Barishit. It's the year of Hazan. And that means a year of, of, of vision. Mm -hmm. And we're moving into the 22, which that number means life. And so I don't think it's a coincidence that I would, that, that I would receive the wrong script. <laughs> we're going into a year of yes. vision, a, a, a time of light. And now you want to put something on my eyes that's going to keep me from seeing right. cl cl you know, clearly and, and seeing cl with clarity and seeing mm -hmm. things clearly. No, the devil is alive and the horse he rode on. I, I, I'm not going to put that on my eyes because I need to be able to see because God has shown me things and I look yes. at you know what he has revealed to me and I look at Amen. you know because he said he will reveal see God will show you the end at the beginning yes yes because he gives you something to work towards. He'll, he'll show you, see, this is what you're going to see. It, it, it's like the, it's like a, uh, you know, like I love to cook, you know, and, and, and I like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, put things together. And, and so, you know, you look in a cookbook, you, you, you see the pictures of things, right? And, and you look at the end results and you say, Oh God, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Yes, that looks good. But see, it don't come that way. Right. There's some ingredients that's got to be yes. applied. There's some, a process that's got to be followed. Yes. Some instructions that's got to be, uh, you know, tended to so yes. that you get the end picture. You get the end results. And see, that's the thing. God has showed me the pictures, y'all. And, and he has shown me. See, I'm in, I'm in the stirring part where the ingredients have gone in. I'm in the stirring part where he's, he's mending and putting things together. And so that's why I said, no, I got to be able to see. Uh -uh, you ain't going to put that on my eyes. I got to have what is for me. Yes. And yes. I'm not going to settle. Yes. And I pray that this word has ministered to you yes. that you won't settle. Yes. And, and, and we're yes. talking about glasses, but it's beyond glasses. We're talking about vision. It's beyond yes. that. I pray you don't settle, that you don't settle for the lesser, yes. that you don't settle for the things and, and, and just say, well, you know, maybe it wasn't meant. No, it's meant for you to be happy. Yes. It's meant for you to be blessed. It's meant for you to prosper. Yes. It's meant for you to be loved. Amen. It's meant. And don't you settle and think that, you know, well, it's just not going to happen for me. No. Yes. It's for you too. Yes, it is. It's for all. Amen. Yes. It's for every yes. single one of us. And yes. we've got to look, we got to not compromise. We got to not say, you know what? Well, Amen. I'm just going to settle for this and, and just Amen. compromise. No. Yes, compromise got to be killed today. Amen. I don't know what you've been compromising, but compromise got to be killed today. Don't compromise anymore because when you compromise, you're settling. Yes. You're becoming content with the lesser. Yes. And you got to say, listen, I'm going to, I have what God has for me. Amen. I'm yes. taking what God has for me. Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't settle. That's right. Don't, don't allow yourself to be without God. Listen, God, it, it says he withhold no good thing from them that That's walk right. upright. It's That's his pleasure right. to uh, bless you. It's his yes. pleasure uh, to yes. prosper you. Yes. It's his pleasure. He said he has given us all things, amen, richly to enjoy. Yeah. And it's for you to take, amen, it's for you to enjoy. Don't settle, amen, don't, don't settle for that. No. You, you're in a place, and listen, you've been settled. You, you are in places and with things that are beneath your potential. There's more. And there's so much more God has for you. Amen. Yes. And so I pray that this has stirred up and sparked something in you. Amen. Do not circumvent. Don't circumvent the process, but don't, look, don't, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't allow yourself. Don't, don't rob yourself. It's That's one right. thing for somebody else to rob you. It, it, it's, it's a whole other thing when you're robbing yourself. Don't rob Amen. yourself. Amen. Amen. Of your own and what belongs to you. Amen. Take what God has for you. I'm, I promise you, you will never regret it. You will never regret it. Amen. Never. And so listen, guys, I pray that this has blessed you. I pray that you are encouraged by this word. Listen, get the right script. Amen. Yes. And your script comes from the word of God, not yes. the words of men. Your script yes. comes from 
is spiritual, not scientific. Come on. Amen. It ain't it ain't written in some book uh, that that you know no horoscope, no newspaper. Come on, no card, yeah. no palm. It right. ain't written in that. Amen. Right. You go to the volume of the book that is written yes. of you. That is the word of God. Word Amen. Of God. Yes. Go in there. That's your mirror. Yes. That's your daily bread. Amen. That's your bath, your spiritual bathtub. Get in it. Amen. Every Amen. day and hear what the Lord has to say to you. Because I promise you, God's got some great things in store for you. And I and, and I know in the world we're living in, times think time these things won't get worse. But for those of us who trust and believe, yes. they shall come now our dwelling. You gotta be 91st Psalm equipped. You gotta be yes. 91st Psalm Amen. prepared and say it won't come now my dwelling. That's I dwell right. in the secret place of the most high yes. body the shot of the Almighty yes. whose power no folk can withstand. Amen. I say of the Lord, He is my refuge, yes, He's is my, my fortress. My, my God, God and Him shall I yes. trust. Amen. Amen. And them Amen. that trust God, them that look to God, faces are radiant, he said, yeah. and never covered with shame. So That's listen. Right. Listen, you, you've got to make sure, amen, that you are seeing things the way God is showing you, the amen. way God see them through his word, amen? Amen, yes. Because when you see what God said, when you see it in his word, when you see it the way he said, you will see what he said, amen? amen? Because it is no way, amen, that we can behold the word and we can stand on the word and the word not produce. Because why? Right. Come on, y'all, let's say it together. The word, word. is what? It's working, working for, for me. me. Glory yes. to God. Amen. Listen, guys, I love you so so much. Mwah, be blessed. And we look forward <laughs> to talking to you on next Sunday. And uh, I'm telling you, God is faithful. And I'm expecting praise reports and testimonies. Listen, yes. if you haven't subscribed to our website, do so at www.tracytaylorministries.org. Uh, we uh, send out daily devotionals and, and, um, you're going to be inspired. Amen. You're going to be blessed. Um, if you don't uh, know, we do have our YouTube page. You can also go through there, Tracy Taylor uh, Ministries International, and you can also pull up any teachings, any videos, and different things that we have done. You can actually, you know, actually get them there as well. So listen, guys, I just want to just bless you, Father. I thank you. Yes, I speak Lord. your word, Father. I yes, seal this Lord. word with yes. the blood of Jesus, Lord yes, God. I thank Lord. you. Bless are their eyes to see and their yes. ears to hear. I thank yes. you, Lord God. This word fell on good soil. Yes. I declare clear your word father god is yes. producing even now lord yes. god a thousand fold is manifesting yes. father god thank i thank you, you even now they are seeing things yes, shift things lord. turn and things yes. move i just speak over them lord god yes. and i declare right now the name of jesus that they not only see god yes, but they see lord. with a prophetic or spiritual yes. 2020 vision they yes. see clearly lord god that which you yes, have shown lord. them father god and the enemy will not distort neither deceive them father god yes. but they know exactly what you have called them to do and where yes. you call them to do it yes. so father i thank you for a divine thank alignment you, in their lives thank right you. now i thank you lord god for you opening up doors yes. father i thank you father god for the light shining that the eyes of their yes. understanding have been enlightened and they're, they're flooded with light the yes. light and the counsel and the wisdom of you father i just bless them in the name of the lord jesus christ yes. and i thank you lord god the gates of hell will not prevail i, I prevail i speak over them yes. i speak over their destiny yes. I come Lord. against everything that the enemy is trying to yes, bring in their path. Lord. We bombard yes. it. We snatch yes. it out in the name of yes. Jesus. And we declare God, they're going through, Father yes. God. Lord, like a yes. locomotive, they're going through with the power. Yes. They're going power. through with the force yes, of you, God. Lord. And they're yes. penetrating. They're landing, Father God, yes, in their Lord. prophetic destinies in the places yes. you have called them to. No one, no weapon, no, no enemy will be able to delay yes. or deny them of what you have called them to do. Yes. We declare it to be yes. so. I speak an acceleration. Yes. I speak Speak yes. over them right now yes. in the name of Jesus, Lord God. That yes. what you have said, it shall come to pass. And yes, I declare we will Lord. patiently wait for it because yes. though the vision uh, tarry, we will wait for it because <laughs> it shall come to pass. Yes. And so we be still yes. and know that you are God. We're going to praise you, Lord God, yes. in the process. We're going to wave our hands unto you. Yes, and we're going to adore Lord. you because we know that faithful is yes, he that promise. Yes, Lord. Yes. And you said your thank word will not Lord. return void. So, and Lord, I thank you. I speak thank fulfillment. You, I yes. speak of prospering. I yes. speak of completion. Yes. I speak of perfection Lord. right now yes. in their lives. In yes. the name of Jesus, I pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Be blessed of the Amen. Lord. God loves you. He sees you. Yes. He knows where you are. And yes. I'm telling you, he's about to do a work in your day. Be still and know that he is God and give him all the glory for it. Amen. Yes. Be blessed. I'll see you on next week.